Hey guys, on this episode of Jake Makes, we're going to be launching football several hundred feet using nothing but paint cans, duct tape, and lighter fluid. Introducing my football mortar. This has got to be one of my favorite projects so far, and one of the main reasons has to be its simplicity. This is super simple to make. It is constructed out of four paint cans, one, two, three, and four, which are duct taped together using several layers of duct tape. Got to do a lot of duct tape, otherwise it can burst. You're doing with enormous pressure here. It has a touch hole at the bottom here, as you can see, for lighting it. And then if we look down the top, you can see there's a baffle there. There are two baffles between this paint can and this bottom paint can here. And I'm not actually sure exactly sure what the baffles do. There's several things it can do. But suffice it to say, it is necessary to make it go far and achieve a full combustion. Here are the basic plans here, so you can see. It's very, very simple. You just got a baffle here, here, and then a touch hole, and then duct tape the rest of them together. These two top ones, of course, are the barrel. As you can see, there's nothing in the middle. It's just smooth. And then I have a football here, which I duct tape around to make it fit very snugly in the barrel, very snugly here. You want it to be airtight so not much air can get away. I went ahead and gave it a pretty cool paint job and added that just for effect, you know. As I said before, it's powered by lighter fluid, which I'll show you how to load in a minute. And then you can use, I'm using a propane torch because I don't have a long-handled barbecue lighter right now, but you can also easily use just a regular barbecue lighter. The baffles look like this. I have it drawn out here. Let's see if I can get to focus. Um, there we are. You can see they just have holes poked around in a um, rather systematic matter. It really doesn't matter that much. As you can see in the baffles I have in here, it's not rocket science. I just rammed holes in it with a uh, wrench, I think. I don't know, something. Anyway, you're basically trying to constrict the flow. Now you can, instead of paint cans, use those big giant soup cans for this, and that might work better as the they're slightly smaller, I believe, and the football might fit down them more perfectly. But I use paint cans because my dad's a painter, and I have a million of them laying around everywhere. Whatever works best for you, you can build it with. It'll work fine either way. Let's go wake up the neighbors. All right, so I have my mortar here. I have a camping chair that I went ahead and took the uh, back piece off right here. That's gonna be my rest to lean it up like this. Using a uh, mortar's trajectory, so it'll go very high. I'm trying to go high on this shot, not so much far. I'll do that in a minute. So it's gonna shoot a mortar's tra trajectory, probably about 70 degrees, like that, mostly upwards. And I'm gonna see if I can make it over this oak tree over there. It ought to fire about 250 feet, I've measured before. So here's how you load it. I'll go ahead and take my football and put that in right here. Shove it all the way down to the baffle so it can't go down any farther, like so. Then I'll take my lighter fluid here, and then I have my uh, propane torch here. You can, as I said before, you can also use just regular lighter, long-handled lighter, of course. You don't want to get your hand too close to this. I actually had um, one of the duct tape sections burst on me a few days ago when I hadn't put enough duct tape on it. So make sure to put quite a few layers of thick duct tape around there. Paint cans, you know, aren't made to handle pressure like this. You want to make sure it's solid. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my lighter fluid and just squirt it in here. All up around. Like so. I don't want to spill any. I'm going to take this and put it a few feet away in case something happens. I don't want that blowing up. I'll go ahead and take it and spin around like this. The goal is to get it mixed and vaporized 
in between in the two chambers here. So we're going to make sure the fuel gets mixed up all in there really good. Otherwise, we won't get a very good launch. Alrighty. Walls down in there. Set up. Now, did I mention this was loud? Cover your ears. Uh-oh. Get my propane torch to work. Oh. Uh, ah, uh, we had a dud there. That one did not go like it was supposed to. <laughs> I'll have to redo. Now, these things can be pretty finicky sometimes. I'm not measuring out the correct amount of fuel, so it can be kind of difficult to get the right amount for a good launch. So, let's see here. You want to get, just see if I can get some new air in there. Make sure there's enough oxygen in the combustion chamber. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try to fill it up again. I think I might have put too much fuel in that time. So, let me see how that does. Oh, I forgot to stick this in. All right, let's try again. Ah, that was much better. <laughs> Not bad. Now that shot was better. It went clear over that pine tree up there and about down there a good ways. I'd estimate about 150, 175 feet. I can do a lot better than that. Let's see. That did it. Holy cow. That is what I was looking for. Let's see how far that went. You can see some of the power this has by every time you shoot it, the bottom is completely burst out. See that? Crazy. Alrighty, let's try more of a distance shot now. Let's see if we can put it at a lower trajectory and see if we can get it over that oak tree. Way on there. That one right there. See if we can get over there. Not quite. Well, we didn't quite make it over this oak tree here. That was a bit tall of an order from way back there where we were earlier. But I still want to go over it. So let's get closer.
Well, after seeing just how high and how far it can go, I started wondering exactly how powerful this is. And as sort of a fun thing for the end of this video, I set up a bunch of these paint cans and buckets here. And instead of firing it like a mortar, I'm gonna go for a cannon. All right, in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh man, that was insane. That one's dented. Let's see here. These two don't look like they got hit. Okay, that one's got a nice dent there. Let's see. Oh, there's our football. Oh. Yeah, I've practically destroyed it. <laughs> oh, man. That one is dented. Get this right here. Holy cow! Look at that. Completely, completely bent. I mean, this is a tough five gallon bucket here. Really thick. And wow, that is an insane amount of power. Look at that. Just completely dented it right in and sent it flying at least 30 feet away. Wow. Well, that's about all for today. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe so you can see all my other videos. And also be sure to check out my website. It has a ton of my other projects on there. The link's down in the description. It's www.jakemakes.net. Anyway, hope you, liked it. hope you enjoyed this video. Had as much fun as I did. <laughs> I had a blast. See you next time.